recording button. All right, so um, to everybody that has joined the call, let's just do our normal uh, standard privacy uh, advice. This call is being recorded and your name may be visible to other people on the call. If you don't wish to have your name visible to other people on the call, then please uh, feel free to hang up now and I'll share the recording with you afterwards. Also, what I'm going to do is I am going to put everybody on mute so you can continue to multitask while I'm taking you through this and uh, your background noise doesn't uh, interfere with the rest of the call. So everyone's now on mute, but we've done an audio check um, and you're all able to see my screen. So welcome, welcome to today's, uh, S uh, sorry, I nearly said SAP, dear oh dear. Welcome to today's Acumatica Partner Marketing University. There's a couple of things that I'd like to take you through in today's Partner Marketing University. Uh, I want to introduce you to some new resources that we talked about at the most recent Partner Summit in Long Beach, California. But I wanted to make sure we did a session that just um, took everybody through all of the different tools that we now have available for you uh, to help you out with your marketing uh, efforts. So. The first thing that I want to do is take you through and I want to show you the Partner Marketing University. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to log on to the Partner Portal because what I've done, I realized that uh, and th from some feedback that people found a number of the fact that we had a number of these different websites a little bit confusing, couldn't remember the um, you know the URLs of each of these different websites and they really wanted to make sure that um, you know, we really wanted to make sure that it was easy for you to access these um, these particular these particular websites. So what I've done is on the partner uh, portal right now, what you'll now find on the home page is you'll actually find a couple of new icons in the uh, quick access area at the top. So you'll now see we've added an additional row of these icons if you haven't been on the Partner Portal recently. So of course you can see we've got the Acumatica Open University, we've got the Acumatica Enablement site, we have our community forums and of course the Partner Marketing University. So let's talk about the Partner Marketing University first. Um, if you think about what we've been doing for the last couple of months, um, is we have, not the last couple of months, but pretty much most of last year since I joined Acumatica, we've been running these sessions on a fairly regular basis where I've been delivering um, different topics uh, and taking you through different ideas around strategies for partner marketing, uh, building a strategy, um, you know, executing the tactics. And we've been focusing on utilizing the duct tape marketing approach that, that I introduced everybody to. And that really is centered around this key concept that marketing is getting people with a need for your product or service to know, like, and trust you so that they try, buy, repeat, buy, and refer others to you. So, you know, you've all um, no doubt um, been hearing a little bit about that. And then I put together the Partner Marketing Toolkit which is available on Evernote. And many of you already have access to that. And in the Partner Marketing Toolkit, we put together a whole range of different resources that you can access. Well, let's go and take a look at the Partner Marketing University because the Partner Marketing University is the next generation of um, our delivery of content, which is really designed to help you become more effective as a marketer. And in a perfect world, um, you as a partner, and a matter of fact, us as a vendor, would not have to do marketing. Um, somehow, some way, we'd wake up every morning and you know our mailboxes would be full of inquiries um, from people who wanted to buy our products or services. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world, so it's incumbent on us to make sure that we're executing against a marketing strategy uh, and we're executing the right tactics against a marketing strategy. But for many of us, you know, it's not our core competency. We, we're, we're not professional marketers. So what the idea behind the Partner Marketing uh, University is and the Partner Marketing System it is really designed to give you a single location where you can access all of the core information that you need to make you more effective as a marketer, whether it is training, whether it is materials, uh, 
whether it is additional guidance or whatever the case may be. So the first thing you're going to notice when you log onto the Partner Marketing um, University is you have the home page. So really the main area that I want you to focus on for now is if you go in here and then you click on course. And what you'll find here is it will take you to a, a landing page where all of the courses that are available that form the Acumatic Partner Marketing System. All right, remember I talked about the idea of marketing as a system. And if you think, remember the definition, if you've been participating in these sessions, a system is a series of predefined steps that when executed um, will deliver a known and expected outcome. So, you know, the, there's no reason why marketing cannot be a system. So what this is really about, it's really about teaching you about that system and helping you then implement that systematic approach uh, into your business. So you'll see the system is broken up into multiple modules. The first module talks about strategy and brand, and that's really about this, um, you know, the strategic elements of the business. And that's your foundation for everything that you're gonna do in the business. And like a house, as you can see on the web page here, your business must be built on a firm foundation. So strategy, is that foundation. Tactics without strategy, you've heard me say it before, is the noise before defeat. You can be executing great tactics, but if they don't align to the right strategy, you'll be missing out, all right? So that's point one. So then if you look at each of these modules, if you click on the module, and it, what it will do is it will take you into the page for that module. Now against each of the modules, you'll then see, <clears throat> pardon me, that there are a number of lessons. So in this particular module, we start off with creating the vision. Okay, what is it that your business is all about? Step number two, discovering your ideal client. It is impossible, as you've heard me say before, to, in market, to, to market to somebody if you don't know who it is that you're marketing to. And unfortunately, people with money or people who want to buy my software is not a really good definition because if, if you can get a list of people with money who want to buy your software, um, and you can you can buy a list like that, then you'll be doing pretty darn well. I've never found anywhere where that exists. So again, here's the concept, right? You've got to start off with identifying who those people are. So that's what we do here in the Discover Your Ideal Client. Lesson three covers your unique core difference, and that's really about being able to articulate your value proposition. What is it that makes you different? All right, so. When you go into each one of these lessons, for example, if I go into lesson one, which is about creating the vision, what you're gonna find is there will be a training module, all right? So in this particular instance, there is a video which takes you through, and you can tell I'm in New York because of the sound of all the sirens in the background. I'm actually in my hotel room, about 29 floors above street level, but uh, it's New York and New York is a noisy place. So I do apologize for the background noise. Um, so again, um, you know, this whole idea is around, you know, going through this training, maybe I should just give up until the siren stops, although it's New York, they probably never stop. Um, so we're going to complete the guiding when you, once you've taken the, the lesson itself, the next step is to go ahead and complete the guiding questions worksheet. So if you look at this, what you will find is a guiding questions worksheet. So when you... That siren's just making me laugh, I'm sorry. I do apologize for the background noise. Um, so in the guiding questions worksheet, if you click on that, <clears throat> you'll find it will take you into this, um, into this worksheet. And this is really designed to help you identify some of these key questions that you need to ask. Now, the good thing about all of these resources is that they are designed. So how does anybody do business in New York? I have absolutely no idea. Um, with all this background noise, man. Uh, anyway, um, the idea behind a lot of these documents is they're really designed so you can share them with all the people in your team and get everybody to participate in the process of building these. So take this one, for example, you could take this PDF and you could have it blown up and print it out and put it on a poster on the wall and then use it in a team session to capture all of these answers to these um, to these questions. Where are we today from a marketing perspective? Where are we going? What do we want to achieve? Why are we going there? What values will guide us and so on and so forth? 
So, you know, every single one of these lessons in the duct tape marketing system, which forms the basis of our partner marketing system, comes together with each of these worksheets. Now, many of these things are actually also contained in the partner marketing toolkit that I've already shared with you. But what you're gonna find with these documents, and many of these are a little bit more up to date. So I'm currently going through the process of refreshing the content that's in the partner marketing toolkit. So you've always got the very latest content available both online and through the toolkit. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. So here's an example of one of these new documents, the business model statement workshop, a worksheet rather. This is where you build, you know, the details about your business model. What's it about? What's your mission? What are you in business to do? Who is your ideal customer? What is your customer value most? What does success look like? And so on. Now, the idea behind this is it's really designed for you to go through it in a step-by-step -step session because each session in the Marketing University builds on each one. But you know what? One thing I've found about this content, it's the kind of thing that I can go back to on a regular basis and still find something new every time I go back into it. And to me, that's an indication of great content, of a great philosophy or something like that or for that matter, a great book or a great movie, you can go back to it and pick up things that you didn't get in the first time round. The other thing you're also able to do when you look at this content, you've got module one, module two, and module three. These are really about the strategy and it talks about building a strategy, communicating the strategy, and then working out what are the tactics that you need to execute. Now then when you get to module four and beyond, we're really starting to get into the execution of tactics. All right, so for example, if you are sitting there right now and you are contemplating or working your way through a website design, you can go straight to module five, which talks about building your online presence, and you can go through each one of these lessons, okay? So how do you prepare for traffic on your website? How do you capture leads effectively on your website? How do you build rich profiles of your company and your people inside the organization using tools like LinkedIn and other social media assets to really start to have the opportunity to, to go out there and engage with people in the market? Because remember, at the end of the day, people buy from people. All right, they might buy from your business ultimately, but your business is made up of people and how well you're able to build relationships and demonstrate the value that you bring to your potential customers will have a direct bearing on how much and how quickly you're able to close business. All right, so for example, if you go to lesson one on preparing for traffic, you'll find there is again a video. So hopefully you're seeing it's consistent, all right? So the lessons take you through the basic fundamentals and then your action steps, all right? Check your performance issues on your website. Make some suggestions of tools that you can use. Check the speed of your website. Make sure you've installed Google Analytics. Use the Analytics Conversion Worksheet. If you're using WordPress, make sure you install the SEO for WordPress plugin. Um, and so on and so forth. You might want to consider some paid tools such as Raven Tools or Moz.com. Now, during the training, you are going to be exposed to a whole range of different um, tools and sites that you could take advantage of. When you see these in here, it doesn't necessarily mean that Acumatica uh, is recommending them. They are certainly things that you can take advantage of. But I'll give you an example. Okay, in order for, as part of the process that I use, because I look after our website at Acumatica, I do the search engine optimization. I'm actually looking after all the webmaster tasks as well and things like that. So I use Google Speed Insights. I look after our Google Analytics account. Um, I, we use the SEO for WordPress plugin um, on our website. We also use moz.com for doing a whole bunch of analytics and we do our lead capturing with hubspot.com. All right, so there's a whole range of these different tools. So if you ever want to ask, um, you know, any questions about the tools or anything like that, again, please feel free to do so. All right, ping me a note, um, 
drop me uh, an email, contact me via social media, um, or even, God forbid, pick up the phone and give me a call. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to have some discussions with you. Or, of course, if you want to take a more structured approach to this, reach out to your partner account manager. Now, the partner account managers, whether it's Jason or Matt or Dinesh, Cheryl or Roman, have all heard me talking about this stuff in great detail and in, and um, and have participated in many of the planning sessions that I've done with their various partners. So they're also in a great position to be able to work with you and help you understand and work through the fundamentals of, the, of this process. So again, feel free to reach out to them. And of course, if it's something they can't help you with, then they'll put you in touch with me or Michelle Greening uh, or even Kathy Visamay, our new uh, Chief Marketing Officer who has just joined the organization uh, in the last two weeks. So not only are we providing content, but we're also providing people who can help you and provide you with guidance. Now, there are also other people out there in the market generally available called duct tape marketing coaches that if this approach really appeals to you and you feel like you'd like to invest in some additional coaching, somebody who can work with you on a day-to-day -day basis, then please also feel free to take a look at what those guys have to offer. All right? So I guess bottom line, everything that you need, well, I certainly believe everything that you need is now uh, at your fingertips. It's now at your disposal. As we've been rolling some of these things out, we've been, you know, we haven't always necessarily had all the pieces in place. Um, it takes a little while to build something um, with all of these different components. But I think certainly from a marketing perspective, we're just about there. You know, you can take advantage of these tools. You can take advantage of the Acumatica um, digital hub package that we put together and many partners are doing that today, which is really about working with somebody to, to rebuild your website. Um, you know, you can take advantage of some of these other tools. For example, I've used moz.com to go out and generate website status reports for partners on their websites, a process which we'll be more than happy to do for you at no charge. But normally there's a lot of organizations out there when they do a website, um, if you like an analysis report where they give you a, a current kind of status of where you are and how things are performing, a lot of the times all they're doing is going and they're looking at your Google Analytics and running a Moz report and then presenting that information back to you. So again, I'm more than happy to um, take uh, my Moz account and generate a, uh, a website um, status report for your website. Okay, so we're providing all of those different things together. So the call to action is this. Um, all this training is absolutely useless unless you take action. So I'd like you to take action and I'd like you to go and start taking advantage of the, cap the capabilities and the information and the content which is kept out there on the Acumatica Partner Marketing University. All right. And if you ever want to go to that URL directly, it's just PMU for Partner Marketing University dot acumatica.com. So we're trying to make these things as easy as possible for you to access. All right. But again, the easiest place to get to it is you just go to the partner portal and click on the Partner Marketing University. All right. So that's the end of part one of today's session. I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of where that was, how they accessed and everything like that. Let me just pause for a second. I just want to see if there are any questions so far. So feel free um, to dive into the chat if you do have any questions. I'm just going to sit here quietly, just me and the sound of the New York traffic, uh, just to see if anybody has questions. All right, so it looks like nobody has questions. So let's then move on to our next section, just as the ambulances, fire engines, and police come rocketing down Lexington. Um, all right, I just muted myself, wrong button. Hang on a second, this looks like, a sounds like a pretty noisy bunch. I'm gonna hit the uh, pause button.
The reason why we're actually here in New York is uh, we have been running our Connected World, Connected Business series of sessions, and we just did our New York City session this morning. So all I can say is with a room full of people, I'm glad we didn't have this many uh, fire engines and police cars going past because uh, it would have been almost impossible to run the event. But anyway, so the next piece that I want to take you through um, is I want to take you through one of the tools which has been available for quite some time, but I know many people are still kind of wrapping their heads around how do they start to use this content on their own websites. So what I'm going to do just quickly is I'm going to take you to another one of the sites which we've just made available recently, which is the Acumatica Open University, because I'm going to give you an example of how the content that's on our demos on demand system can be utilized by you as a partner on your website. So one of the things you'll notice um, here is if you click on videos on the Acumatica Open University, oh and by the way, this is a little bug in the, in the website for some reason, this um, icon occasionally does not shrink down to the way it should be. We're looking at, um, at solving that problem now, but it certainly doesn't break the menuing system and you can still get to all the menu options underneath it. But anyway, one of the things that you're going to see on this page is you're going to see here are a series of Acumatica 5.0 videos put together by uh, Gabriel Michaud, our product manager, that are available on YouTube. But down underneath that, you'll see there is a range of Acumatica demonstration videos. And these are exactly the same videos that are available to you on the Acumatica Enablement website. All right. So on Acumatica Enablement, we've got literally hundreds of videos available for you that can help you learn about Acumatica, help you learn about the ISV solutions available for Acumatica, hear from um, other partners about why they became Acumatica partners, you can go on there and you can view all of the sessions from this year's summit, the keynote sessions, and you can also go back. And if you're interested, you can also go back and look at sessions from the 2014 summit. All right. So every single one of those videos is available to access and have it if you should choose to, to put it on your website. All right. So how do you do it? Well, great question. First thing you need to do is you need to determine which of these videos actually make sense for you to put on your website. And then all you need to do is you need to come in and you can log on. And by the way, um, Roman uh, Azerski, uh, also known as Mike Wazowski, um, Roman has actually used this tool that I'm about to show you uh, himself and has actually used it to create new materials and new content. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to, um, you know, to extend yourself um, and, and start to use the platform that we are providing and we are paying for at, at Acumatica. Don't be afraid to potentially start extending it with a specific content that you want to build, which is exactly what Roman's done. He's been doing some training sessions with partners and he's recorded those and uploaded them into the, um, into the, the demos on demand system. But anyway, um, if Roman was delivering the training, he'd tell you it's a fairly straightforward process. You simply go to www.demosondemand.com and you put slash login. Okay. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. No, you don't. I've got myself around the wrong way. I apologize. It's not www slash login, it's login.demosondemand.com. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to see here is it's going to ask you for a username and a password. If you do not currently have a username and a password for Demos On Demand, for the demo mail tools and everything like that that I'm going to talk with you about in a minute, what you need to do is this. You need to contact your partner account manager and say to them, Roman, Cheryl, Dinesh, Matt, Jason, whoever is your partner account manager, could you please arrange for me to get access to the demos on demand content? 
And all things being equal, they're going to come back to you. Going to say, they're going to say, sure, what we need is we need to know the first and last name of the person that wants access, their email address so that we can set up an account. And then they're also going to ask you what page on your website do you want to refer people to when they click on um, a link to contact you. So hopefully every single one of you has a page somewhere on your website where you collect information um, uh, from prospective customers, where you send prospective customers to for information about Acumatica. So that's the URL we're going to ask you for. All right. And then you're going to send that through. Uh, they'll pass it on to me. Or um, if, uh, if they're like Roman, they can actually go in and create you as a user in the system now. We used to have to send them through to demos on demand and they would create the accounts, but we can now create the accounts ourselves. So make sense so far? Good. So I'm going to log in as me with my account um, because I am the super admin in the system. So I can do everything that I need to. So I'm going to log in and then what you're going to see after the password manager has popped up and asked me if I want to save this password, you're going to see that I put in the wrong credentials. So let me just type that in again. I also forgot my acumatica.com. My bad. All right, so then I'm going to hit login. Yes, would I like to store it? Yes, I would. And then it's going to bring me into the back end management system for everything in demos on demand. So what this is giving me, it's giving me the ability to upload content, to create players, to create email templates, create demo mail modules and so on and so forth. All right. So the first thing that most people ask us for is they say, well, how can I take those videos and embed them into my website? Now, it's really important that you don't just go and grab a link off the Acumatica website or a link off somebody else's website. We need to generate these specifically for you because what you've probably noticed is when you're on the demos on demand videos, when you hover over the video, you get a couple of options. You get a, an option there, which is ask a question and you get another option there, which is share. If you grab the videos of somebody else's website and put them on your web page. When somebody clicks on ask a question, that question's not going to come to you. It's going to go to the person who's in charge of whichever website you took the snapshot from or you copied and pasted the code from or whatever the case may be. So very, very important to make sure that you only use your own codes. All right. So then what does this then enable me to do? It now enables me to go in and then grab one of these sessions and I can click here on view all items in my library. So we'll get the whole lot um, and it will allow me and I can specify the number of items that I want to see. It'll allow me to go in and select the item and then when I'm looking at it, let's say, for example, you sell the um, Avalara solution, Avatax for Acumatica. What we can do is I can go in here and I can click on share and I can grab this embed code. All right. And all you need is this embed code. And that will then give me the ability or it will give you the ability if you're logged into the site to take this code and just copy it and paste it into your web page. When you do that, it will then automatically embed the, uh, the link that allows people to then play this specific video. If you want to send the video to somebody, you can click on the get URL and then you can just grab the URL and send that out as well. All right. So those are two options that you can use. All right. So then the next thing you can do, for example, that'll just give you a quick and easy way of sharing out that information. But the next step and the probably the better step is to go in here and we'll choose to deploy now. So what this will allow us to do is it will allow us and you, but only for your account to choose um, 
the, the uh, partner account that you want to deploy the content to. Now, if you are signed in as yourself as a partner, you will only have the ability to deploy content for your own website. Because I'm the super administrator, I could say, you know what? Um, I have um, a partner and I want to select that partner and I want to give them the ability to, um, to have these modules as a, um, just bear with me for one second. Sorry, guys, there's somebody knocking at my door. I think it might be housekeeping. No, it's not housekeeping. It is Michelle Greening come to get her travel pillow so she can head back to Seattle. All right, there you go, Michelle, there's your travel pillow. All right. Way too much information. You might be asking why is Michelle Greening's travel pillow in my room? Because it got brought up here with my luggage. Uh, anyway, moving right along, uh, let's say, for example, Joel, Joel Gress at Dynamic Tech, you might want me to build you a syndication kit. All right, I can go in here and I can remove everybody. And then I can say, you know what, I just want to build a syndication kit for Joel. So I'll go ahead and I'll say, select dynamic tech, and then I'll say next, and I'll choose a template. And then it'll say, all right, what template do you want? Now, most of these are actually pre-built with these templates. So you can see this is a web deployment template. So this is what it looks like. And then I'll say select. And then it'll ask me who's using this syndication module. Again, dynamic tech. So when I select that, what you'll see will happen when it builds the syndication module, it builds a special code for you as a, um, as a partner. All right. Then once you've got that, all you now need to do is take this code, which is designed specially for you, and copy it and paste it onto the page on your website where you want that to go. Now, if you're using WordPress or Joomla or Drupal or whatever, most websites have the ability to deploy to deploy iframes. All right. So you know it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be overly difficult um, for you to then take this and either do it yourself, embed it onto your web page, or uh, get. Um, your web developer to go ahead and embed it on your web page. All right. So that's a scenario there where I am deploying a template or I'm deploying an individual piece of content. The other thing I can do is I can actually create a syndication module. And what this allows me to do um, is it allows me to select a whole range of different pieces of content and put them together in a syndication module that then creates a whole page full of content. So rather than doing them one by one by one, I can create them in bulk. All right. So uh, there's a whole range of functionality here that allows us to manage all of this content. Uh, and then of course, there's a couple of other things. We're also able to do what we call creating signature blocks. How does this work? Well, you can create an Outlook signature block and you see at Acumatica, we're already using one and there might be some of you out there um, who've received an email from me that has one of these signature blocks in it. And what it does, it enables you to take any one of those videos and embed it into a signature block, which will automatically then get deployed into the emails that you send out from Microsoft Outlook. So this one, for example, says view the demo. So every time you, if you were to use this signature block, every time you send out an email, this signature block would be automatically inserted into the email. Uh, and then the system would go ahead and track when somebody opens that email, when they click on the signature block and so on and so forth. All right. Now, the great thing is we've got a bunch of these signature blocks already pre-built but we can go ahead and we're able to create additional signature blocks and so on and so forth. Okay. So it makes the whole process of embedding and tracking um, who you're sending the videos to much, much easier. 
So far, so good. All right, let me pause for a second. I'm just going to check for questions before I move on to the next section. Any questions? No questions so far. All right, so now let's move on to part three. So what did I start talking about? I started talking about the fact that we have this system uh, called demo mail and you know you, and that's what this is really part of. So not only can you take these videos and embed them on your website, but you can also go ahead and you can embed them in email. So how does that work? Well, we've already built a whole range of demo mail modules. So if I go in here and I look at my demo mail modules, you'll see I have each one of these sections that's been built as a demo mail module. So what exactly is a demo mail module? Well, if you weren't aware, one of the tools that's available to you once you sign up with us for this service is you have the ability to access demo mail. What I hear you ask is demo mail. Well, let me spin up my copy of Microsoft Outlook and I'm going to show you. One second. You can never be too sure what's going to come up in email the very first time you start it. So I'm just going to stop showing my screen for a second while I start up my email. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm just going ahead now and I'm starting up Outlook. And we'll give it a couple of seconds. My Outlook is connecting. And it's grinding away in the background. It's been a couple of hours since I logged on to Outlook, so it might, uh, it might take a little bit longer than normal. Um, but anyway, uh, while that's rattling away in the background, one of the things that you can then do um, is inside out, and here it comes, here we go, one second. All right, that's looking pretty innocuous. Let me just change across to that email account. All right, good. Okay, so I'm going to start showing my screen again. All right, so I'm now showing my screen and you can see that I have um, my normal Outlook screen. And what you'll notice though, is there is a new uh, area up here in Outlook and it's called Demo Mail for Outlook. What happens is this, we go ahead and we process the sign up and then you will receive a link that allows you to go ahead and download the Outlook plugin that you then use to deploy this into your copy of Microsoft Outlook. All right. What that then gives you the ability to do is that it gives you the ability to go ahead and send out what we call demo mails. So I'll show you exactly what's involved. I go here and I click on new demo mail. And what the system then does is it goes in and says, aha, you're Richard Duffy. All right. It's automatically inserted my signature block for me. Okay. But now what I can do is I can also choose to insert other videos. So I click on insert video. And then I go up here and we've just completed, uh, for those of you who've been using this for a while, We've just completed a major reordering of all of the content available in here. So you can go in here and you can then select the content that you want. So let's say, for example, you want to send out an Acumatica product demo to a prospect. So you'd select Acumatica product demos. And then what do you see here? You get all of the um, Acumatica product demos. Um, you get this list. All right, so you can then go ahead and you can select the one that you want. So let's say, for example, I want to send out the introduction to Acumatica. Now, that would be kind of redundant because the introduction to Acumatica is actually down here in my signature block. But let's do this just for the sake of the exercise. Uh, I will select an introduction to Acumatica. And what does it then do? It pops it in across here on the side and says, this is a session that you're adding. Let's say, for example, I also wanted they were interested in Acumatica Cloud XRP. I can select that. And let's say they were also interested in seeing 
the procure to pay process inside Acumatica. So I can select that. I then say add sessions. It now processes that request and it's running a little process on the back end to take those videos and it's now embedding them in to the system. All right. So you've got an introduction to Acumatica, Acumatica, the, easy for me to say, Acumatica Cloud XRP and procure to pay. I then pick the person I want to send it to and hopefully, Joel, you don't mind if I, um, if I use you as the example for this. I pick the person's name or I type it in and I then say, here's the demos we discussed. And by the way, you can build all of these into email templates as well. So your people don't have to write the email. You can get somebody in marketing to structure the email with all the comments, with all the videos embedded. Here's the demos we discussed. And then I would just choose that up here under select an email template. And then I'll go in here and I'll hit send. And what does the system do? It validates that it's got all of your information and it embeds it into the demo mail tracking system and away you go. The email then gets sent out. And if you were sitting right next to Joel right now, you would see that he has just received um, uh, he has just received the uh, the link to the demo mail uh, and he can now go ahead and watch each one of those videos. Okay. Now, the good thing about it is when he clicks on any one of those videos, I'm going to get a notification. I'm going to get a notification back because it came from me and I'm going to see that. Now, we can't see the people who are visiting the videos when we configure them for you. All right. So if you're using this system and you are recording the details of people that you're sending the videos to, we don't see them. All right. Only you can see them. So important to note from a privacy perspective, we don't use this to collect information about your prospects or anything like that. What we're basically doing here is utilizing this and providing it for you as a tool. All right. So those are the three key areas that I wanted to show you in today's Marketing University session. So here's the call to action for you for the end of today's session. Number one, go out and take a look at the Partner Marketing University, pmu.acumatica.com, which you can also access via the Acumatica Partner Portal. Step number two, I would encourage you to actually go ahead and have a look at the Acumatica Open University as well. Step number three, go and look at the content available on Acumatica Enablement. Again, where do you go to get that? You can access that from the Acumatica Partner Portal. You'll see there is another icon on the main screen, which will take you to the partner, sorry, to um, not to the, uh, sorry, to the, to the demo universe. Sorry, I've just lost it. It's been a very long morning. I had an early start this morning. So what you'll see, there is a link that will take you to each one of those different things that I was talking about. There's a link that'll take you to acumaticaenablement.com. All right. And then from there, you can look through and you can identify the videos that you might find helpful. After you've done that, send an email to your partner account manager requesting access to the demos on demand system. And we'll be more than happy to put together a syndication package specifically for you. All right. So I am just going to quickly check for questions. And so if you've got any questions. All right. Um, Okay, and Joel has just uh, sent me a, a quick chat. He'd gone through a process early on uh, in this to try and get this content available for his website. Um, and he ran into a few problems. Joel, I think that's all been fixed by now. Um, but um, if, uh, if not, um, please let me know. I am more than happy to go ahead and um, and change the settings to, to grant you the right level of access because I now have 
the ability, you can see I now have the ability to go in and look at and manage partners and, you know, add users for partners and grant you the level of access um, so that you can get into this particular tool or whatever the case may be. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Or of course, worst case scenario, just let me know the sessions that you want to have access to. And what will I do? I'll go ahead or somebody in our marketing team will go ahead and they will grab those sessions for you. They will grab the, the plugin content scripting for you and send that out to you. All right. Uh, and then you can go and start using the tool. So any other questions? And then if you use, if, if we generate those for you, then I have definitely confirmed that the ask a question functionality does work and it does direct to you. Um, it could well be, Joel, that the reason why it's not working for you is something to do with that link. So maybe you could send me um, what the Demos On Demand guy sent you um, if you haven't already, uh, and I'll be more than happy to take a look at it for you. Okay. So I think that's pretty much everything. Thank you. I just see I've got the email come through from Joel. Um, so thank you for that, Joel. I'll take a look at it. Probably not today, um, uh, but I will have a look at it either over the weekend or on Monday morning and see what I can do to, uh, to get that issue resolved for you. So with that, seeing as how there's no uh, questions coming in and we're almost at the top of the hour, I'm going to say thank you to you for joining us for today's uh, Partner Marketing University session. Don't forget, if you haven't already signed up, um, one of our sales engineers extraordinaire, Tom Costa, uh, is running a series of special training sessions um, in the uh, Sales and Demo University. And that's next Friday at the same time as this session. So remember, if you haven't signed up for that yet, please go and sign up in order to do that. You just simply need to go onto the partner portal. Okay, let me show you where. And then if you go here into enablement and education, you can come down here to the demo university. Let me just get rid of uh, this screen here on the side. And you come in here and you say, register for the demo university. And what do you get? You get a link which will show you the schedule for all of the sessions that we have coming up and will give you the ability to sign up and register for the sessions. It will then send you a link, send you a confirmation, and you can even go in and save those into your Microsoft Outlook. All right, so that's how you sign up for that session. I think we have about 48 or 49 people signed up uh, for next week's session. So again, uh, on behalf of everybody at Acumatica, I wanted to thank you for taking advantage of these tools. And of course, if you do have any questions or any problems when you're using them, please feel free to reach out to either myself or anybody in the marketing team. Or, of course, you can reach out to your partner account manager. All right. So with that, I'll bid you a good day and wish you a great weekend and look forward to seeing you next week uh, for Tom Costa's delivery of the Demo University. Thanks very much.